Hey traders, Marco in here from Trade and Train. I'm going to have a look at the implications of the vaccine announcement and potentially opportunities that may arise from that. So we're looking at the dollar index. We can see that the dollar index in recent days has found a bid from 92. We've seen a bullish engulfing candle followed by a doji and then today we've got another bullish engulfing candle. So what, what does that mean in terms of looking for opportunities on the dollar index well for the dollar index moving from where we are to where we are i would expect to see it push on towards the 94 barrier so we've now got to look for corrections to get along the dollar so let's move across to the euro and the euro is operating within we've got a nice support level here rising trend line that's been respected quite nicely we've got a bullish engulfing bearish candle off that trend line that has then moved and we basically got a doji candle yesterday and then today we've broken the lows of that. So if we then drop down to the hourly chart, what you'll see is price moved down, corrected, impulse break lower, and now we've had a correction back into our structure support. So opportunity for those of you that don't have a lot of time, you know, very, very simple. You could be looking at taking a short position with a live at market or a sell limit, stops above structure highs and targeting, moving your, moving your target right down to the 116 lows where price found support earlier. And you can see that's a healthy 2.5% return. So that would be focusing on some dollar strength in the short term in conjunction with looking at that dollar index move. Now, if we then start looking at alternative markets, so We'll, we'll look at sort of cable. Cable has a few other different scenarios. One is obviously, yes, if we're trading dollar strength, we'd look to trade cable short. But we also have the flip side, which is Brexit negotiations. And with Biden now looking likely, he's going to be the president elect, even though we have fraudulent votes or dead people voting or ballot implications and let's say other uh, technical issues around the voting system in the US who knows what's going to come of that but if, as we see it right now Biden is the president elect and will be taking inauguration January the 20th 2021 he is pro Europe therefore that is bad news for Boris Johnson who is looking for a route out of Europe and basically taking Brexit through to its final stages. So with Trump moving out and Biden moving in, that would mean that Trump, uh, Boris Johnson, sorry, is going to have to find another solution. And that will probably mean finding common ground with Europe, whether it's on fishing rights, whether it's on level playing field, it doesn't matter. But basically he's going to have to find something because his ally, uh, Donald Trump, which would be there for the taking in terms of a free trade deal and a nice backup should something go wrong with Europe, having the US as partners would be fantastic. However, that route has now been taken away in the short term. So expect that to lead to some potential pound strength should any positive Brexit negotiations come out of the foray. So as it stands, we were looking at pound shorts. We got some nice trades today. Our members and our community got some lovely shorts as price broke out of the short term trend line. We retested today and we hit target ones. We expected price not only to have a little correction as it comes into here, but also the time of day is after the 4 p.m. fix. You're going to see some overnight corrections. So if the market does rally back up into this area, you may then see price decline tomorrow as the market opens. However, that really isn't a nice trading opportunity. For the next trading opportunity for those pound short trades will, will be a similar scenario to this one. You're looking for a nice close below and then you're gonna look for that retest. Um, and, and then you can look to trade that short into at least the 130 area. Now, if you're uncertain about how to enter trades, exit trades, have your trade set up, um, how to put your plan into place. That's what we're here for. But, you know, if you're uncertain, please do contact us and we'll guide you through some sort of process and how we can help you. You know, alternatively, we also hold a masterclass every week that you can get a real good insight into what trading is about. There's too many scam artists right now um, willing to take your capital 
and give you nothing for it. You know, we will over deliver and definitely under promise. So please make sure that you do make contact with us, it, whether it's you're just watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel or whether you come over to our Telegram channel where you see daily analysis. So this is pound, that's one good opportunity. There's another pound pair I'm gonna show you, which is pound Swiss. This has come into a beautiful area. Uh, we've seen some lovely rejection. So if we just go to the daily time frame here, you'll see, let's just back out of this. I'm just gonna to have to change the color of this uh, resistance line. Um, and let's just zoom out. In fact, let's just delete it. You will see that price has rejected here, here, and then we've got a lovely m movement into resistance. And expect to see price come down, maybe not as low as that, but at least to those spike highs where we can see the market is tested, which is around that 119.50. Now, how can you trade this? Well, today our traders got in this on a very simple um, technical move, which was price came down, we got a nice double top, especially on the 15 minute, and then it retested. I'm just gonna have to pull in the 15 minute. Excuse the, the, the clicks. You'll see price double topped, retested, it started to move south. Now. For those that aren't in this yet, what you can be looking for is, is a very simple move, which would be using this as your left shoulder, move, head, looking for then the formation of the right shoulder. So expect that lower move into around 120.75, and then looking for a move back up towards that 121.50, down towards 119.50. So lots of opportunity here. We are relatively bullish on pound because we do believe now that if Biden is going to remain in power, we do believe that there will be a deal in place. So that's looking really, really tasty. Good opportunities there. Uh, let's take a look at the equity markets because the equity market is going to give you a couple of clues onto what's happening. Now, the Nasdaq's having a bit of a, a rebound today. And if we take a look at the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq took a real beating on the announcement of a vaccine. Now you've got to think, why would the NASDAQ take a beating on the announcement of a vaccine? Well, it's quite simple, because if you think about it, the vaccine means that if it is 90% successful and it is gonna get people back to normal life, normality, back to work, then in theory, all these tech companies that are booming through this pandemic, it's taking their advantage away because we're gonna be going back to normal life. So if the vaccine is good, this is really this is really going to hit home and hurt the tech sector. So be wary of tech stock right now and wait for more information to see what comes out of the vaccine. You know, we saw today that Pfizer CEO has basically sold 62% of his stakeholding on the on the release. Now that isn't good ethical behavior on my point from a CEO. You know, if he believes in the vaccine and he thinks that it's going to do tremendous wonders for the world, well, then in that case, selling 40 million or 50 million vaccines, what it is, early doors, is just the tip of the iceberg. If this really is what they say it's going to do, then in theory, that CEO should be holding all his stock and his wealth would be... Jeff Bezos style, it would be going through the roof. So the the reason that he's hold that 62% is a little bit baffling, but you know, time will tell. Trade what you see. So if we look at the NASDAQ, we can see today it's having a little bit of a rally. Let's just drop down to the four hour chart, see what's happening. Well, if we just look, we've got a high, a low, higher high, lower low, and we're still forming a lower high. So price coming into the 11,900, maybe even the 12,000, I'm still looking for that move lower. Uh, I'm expecting the tech stock on the back of this vaccine news still to take a bit of a beating. This is going to be beneficial to the likes of the Dow Jones. And the Dow Jones we've seen has been pushing on to new highs. Um, today we've had a correction, a little push up. But what I'm saying is you can see various points where the vaccine news is going to be beneficial for one side and not necessarily for the other. Now, if Equities are going to boom. That's obviously going to impact the Japanese yen. So the Japanese yen is going to take a little bit of a, a little bit of a ass kicking. Let's face it. But we are approaching a very key level here around 105.50. Expect to see some yen buying short term. 
even though the Bank of Japan have talked about not necessarily intervening, they're just saying that the the rate, the FX rates are affecting the economy and that they may potentially intervene. So yes, we may see some short-term strength in Japanese yen, but don't be surprised if we see this long-term uh, descending trend line get broken and 105.50 is gonna be a fabulous place to be looking to get long dollar yen. So looking for the move out, looking for it to pull back and looking to get long. Uh, one other chart we'll take a look at right now is Euro Yen. So Euro Yen is, uh, is sitting nicely above 124 right now, but we, we are forming a bit of a range through here after rejecting the 125s. So we've got ones, two, three, potentially four tests. If we come back up to 124.56, looking for a short opportunity as we do see further downside in the euro market so we'll be looking to trade that um, any solid break below 124 well then that's going to really accelerate our our movements and we'll be looking for at least a 123 target on that so if you do see 124 break tonight and you do trade asian sessions looking for 123 and further movements south Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, the rest of the information and charts, etc., will be divulged with our members and analysis. Um, if you've liked the information that we've shared with you tonight, just from a technical aspect or fundamental, please comment below. Um, make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe, and then that way the videos will come direct to your inbox. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll make sure we've got a video out for you tomorrow on what charts we believe are looking rather tasty. Good night.